everybody, welcome back to the GM's Alcove, my battle vlog series on board gaming. Uh, currently playing SPQR uh, since basically yesterday. Finally got this out and on the table. This is my practice game in preparation for a full refight of Tiffernum, which is the second scenario from the Barbarian expansion. And this one features uh, forces from that scenario. Basically your Sam Knights, the red and white guys there. Uh, going against the Third Legion, which are all the blue counters. I talked about that in the last episode. But, uh, yeah, having a good time playing this. I've got a lot going on. At top of turn four, lots happened. Three turns, I'll tell you that much. You can probably tell by the dispersion of troops on the table. Looks like the Sam Knights are pushing forward. Let's take a closer look. There you can see the action. And you can see uh, the Roman first line is all but uh, falling apart. Well, it hasn't fallen apart. It looks pretty ragged at the moment. They lost a bunch of Hastati units as well as Velites. Well, they lost one Hastati unit and three other Velites, unfortunately. And the Sam Knights, in return, lost one of their light infantry units. That's about it as far as casualties are concerned. But you can see... Initially, what happens, the Romans pushed on the right, kind of advancing and assaulting an echelon, focusing up here, trying to drive those light infantry away and get them out of here. Kind of held back the left flank of the Hastati line. Unfortunately, thanks to good command and part of the Samnites, they were able to push forward on this side with their first line, uh, pushing aside any of my Velites and uh, actually engaging the Hastati on the left flank. And this is where we lost one of the Hastati units. Uh, put a bunch in route, but they're now rallied. You can see these depleted units. That's what happens when you rally from being routed. You're flipped to your opposing opposite side. And you have this little white strip at the bottom of the counter that shows that you are depleted. And there it is. 365. 365. This shows they're depleted, which has penalties uh, in combat, so on and so forth. And this unit, in fact, has one cohesion hit on it. Uh, there was a lot going on in turn three, and basically both of the army's commanders, Rulianus and this gentleman up here, the general for the Samnites, did a lot of their actions rallying routed units and recovering units that took a lot of cohesion hits. Recovering is an order you can give to units to actually reduce their uh, cohesion hits by as much as two points. So they did a lot of that in the past couple turns, uh, both sides. And yeah, so that's what's going on. But here we are, top of turn four. Uh, not much has gone on here since turn two. Uh, which is a reflection of commander's presence and where they are on the battlefield and where they want to spend their uh, actions, basically. Wasn't much going on over here. These guys are pretty much the way they were uh, halfway through turn two, if you remember. But this is the situation. The Samnites are advancing strong on their right flank, going against the left flank of the initial Roman line. Pretty much pushing back the left flank of the Stade. They still have to deal with this, but they've got a strong position here. I'm kind of holding back with them, seeing what develops on this side before committing uh, the left flank of the Samnites. The Romans, not sure what they're going to do. They're going to try and reform their Hastati line here before they decide to fall back through these little avenues here in the second line. And then the second line would form a solid line here. Uh, of course, haven't committed the Triarii, which are in the back. Can't see them off camera. Uh, yeah, that's the situation. Having a good time with it. I told you guys I'd come back to you and show you the progress. I'll probably make another video and play at least two more turns of this. One or two more turns. Because, again, this is just a practice game. I don't want to go crazy and just play this. You know, I want to set up the full battle, Tiffin, and get going. See how that works. There is a routed unit. You can see him up there. That's a Samnite Light Infantry. Uh, he has not been rallied. He's been routing, running towards his side of the battlefield. 
probably going to be removed. But uh, if you're curious uh, about victory conditions in these games, in SPQR, uh, normally in a scenario, victory conditions are based on breakpoints. Basically, I think it's like when 30% of your army in breakpoints, once that's reached, your army has to withdraw from the battlefield. I think it's 30. I don't remember what it was. But all the scenarios in general are like that. There's not like some kind of, okay, if you control this hex, and if you control this hex, you gain an automatic win. It doesn't work that way. This is more of a traditional type of game like you'd, ex like you'd experience with a miniatures game, for instance, where you try and do as much casualties to the oppos opposing army as possible. Well, like DBMM and DBA, uh, and so on and so forth. So you keep track of your losses, and as they accumulate, you get closer to breaking, and your army is forced to withdraw from the battlefield. I'm not keeping track of that in this particular practice game, of course. I'm just trying to get used to the mechanics. But I've quickly got a grasp of this, and I'm having a good time doing it, too. And I think I'm ready to pull out Tiffinum and basically set up the entire scenario and refight it. What do you guys think? Uh, looks pretty good. One thing I should point out, I've been asked about this, but the, the maps, there's like this uh, reprint of the game, I think it has like uh, eight plus map sheets, double-sided, something like that, so there's like 16 maps. That's a guesstimate, I don't remember. But yes, every scenario in here is a historical scenario, and pretty much has their own map. There are a couple exceptions, when the terrain is uh, pretty pretty wide open and plain might double up on a scenario but there's an example right there Sentinum the Battle of Sentinum there's a lot going on there it's a nice map but each of those scenarios typically has their own map there's another one right there Gallic Army what scenario is this some of these scenarios are pretty big Cremona 200 BC. You can see a huge order of battle there. But yeah, there's pretty much maps for all the different scenarios. If you're curious, I was asked that. Uh, yeah, this particular map here for Tiffernum is pretty, pretty basic. There's not a lot going on with this map. In fact, this is the Kanai map, actually. And uh, the burned up village of Kanai is up there in that corner under that little bag. Uh, yeah, so this is about three quarters of the map. There's another fold in it that I've got underneath, so you don't see the whole thing. Because you really don't need it. This Tiffinum only uses like half of the uh, map for Kanai. So in this case, Tiffinum doesn't really have its own map. It uses the Kanai map, and that's what is what I have right here. So yeah, you do get that as well in the scenarios. And you can see right there in the corner the casualties. You got 40 units of Romans taken out of action. Uh, at least half of those were because of failed rally attempts. Uh, basically, you have to roll under the commander's initiative plus one. So if his initiative is five, plus one is six. So when he rolls his d10, he has to roll six or less to successfully rally a routed unit. Okay, and if he fails, in other words, rolls higher than his initiative plus one, uh, that unit is pretty much removed from the battlefield. Uh, if the die roll itself was higher than the TQ rating of the routed unit, which happened a couple times up here. So that's why they're gone. They were routed, failed their rally test miserably, so they dispersed the route of the game. Uh, yeah, that's how that happened. So, there you go, folks. Just wanted to give you a little update on what's going on. Probably, uh, it's looking good for the Sam Knights. We'll see. Their command is really paying off, is what it is. Even though they only have two commanders, they're doing a good job. There's a lot of trumps going on. That's where when an, uh, an opponent, opposing commander attempts to go a second time using, a mo using his momentum, uh, if he's successful with that, he can be trumped by an opposing higher initiative rating general. And both of the Samnite generals are higher in rating uh, compared to the Romans, except for one, Rulianus. Uh, he's the second highest rated, the first being the Samnite. 
The third highest rated is also Samnite. So you can see how even though they have fewer commanders, their higher initiative ratings uh, and command range distances uh, are paying off for them. So that and a little bit of luck. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to try and straighten out this battle line of Astadi. I don't want to give up on it too soon. It's probably going to be a little cockeyed. It seems to be the way the Samnites are pushing right now is over on their right flank, the left flank of the Romans. I'm going to have to adjust to that. I don't want to throw my second line into the mess right away. Really want to hold them back and, uh, and see what happens. And of course the Triarii. I'm not going to throw them in yet. So all is not lost. It's just a little bit muddled up there for the Romans at this point. We'll see what happens. We'll see if I can shift some forces back, get a semblance of a line here before the Samnites can take advantage of this little... Uh, these couple breaks in my line or engage my second line where I don't want them to attack too soon. We'll see what happens. This is a unit of light infantry, by the way, skulking around the flank. And, yeah, this is their first line, first battle line, which are pretty much treated just like legionnaires uh, in quality. So, yeah, that's the situation, folks. Having a good time. I'm going to probably post another update to the vlog showing you the final results. Anyway, before I get into Tiffernum, which I'll probably do later this week. But, yeah, that's the situation so far. All right, folks, I'll talk to you guys later. Stay tuned. I got more coming. Hang in there, folks. It's only going to get better. You guys take care.